Hello everyone, I am Anish Bhattacharya and in this video I will be showing you how you can add SAN attributes to your certificates. For that, we will first need to log into our issuing CA, open up command prompt and run the command certutil set registry which will enable us to add SAN attributes to our certificates. Once we run this command, we also need to restart our cert soft. Cert SVC servers. So we'll say net stop cert SVC and then start it again. Alternatively, you can also go to your search of and restart it from here as well. Once you have restarted it, you can now include SAN attributes on your certificate. Now what it looks like. Suppose we have a web server certificate, this one. This doesn't have any SAN attributes. How do we know? Because there is no cert subject alternative name present over here. Now, for an example, we will have a IIS certificate with SAN attributes in email. Now, why do we need it exactly? Suppose we have this default website and if we go into bindings and just bind a certificate that is available Suppose this issuing say certificate is available. Now this certificate does not have SAN attributes over here So what happens is if we use this certificate it will not complain over here, but when we open a browser And just navigate to localhost the browser cannot trust this certificate because the browser thinks this certificate might not belong to this website. So we can, instead of localhost, we can go to CA02 and we have the same issue. We can go to ca02.incon.com and we'll have the same issue. So the browser thinks that this certificate does not belong to CA02. And using SAN attributes, we can make this browser believe that he, this is our certificate. So for this, we'll go to our IIS, go to server certificates and create a new certificate request. Let's supply the necessary details. So CA02, this is our common name. This is not our SAN attributes. Okay. We'll give the organization name as well. We'll say dev. Dallas, Texas, and there we go. For bit length, we'll say 2048. Next, and we'll save this somewhere. So we'll save web server REQ, web server request. Once this request is created, we can navigate to our documents where it is saved. And this is our request file. Now, you can go to your web enrollment page, which will be localhost also. We'll say request a certificate and we'll submit the certificate request. Let's apply the certificate request from the notepad file. We'll choose a server template. We can use a web server SSL certificate. This is our template that we will be using. And here we need to provide our SAN attributes. So we'll say SAN colon DNS equals to. Now we need to add both of these. So CA02 also should be trusted and ca 2 enconcom this also should be trusted. So we'll say CA02 and DNS equals ca 02enconcom Now if you want to include more, so for example DNS equals example.com so you have a website example.com which is running on your server as well and you want the certificate to be trusted for that particular one as well. So you can include it over here. But I don't need it. I just need for CA02 and CA02.encon.com. I'll submit this request and it is in the pending street. So I can go over here, go into the pending request. This is the request ID 13, all task issue. Once the certificate is issued, we can go back and look at this certificate that we recently issued. Go into the details and here we'll have subject alternative name which will include both of these that we have mentioned. 
If you want to compare, we can open any other certificates and this doesn't have the one subject alternative name that I just showed you. Now we'll go back to our source of and we'll see the status of the pending certificates which is this one. I will just download it using base64. So we have the cert new. We'll just check if this has a certificate, a subject alternative name, and it does. Cool. We'll go back to our IIS server. We'll say complete certificate request. We'll choose the file that we just downloaded. We'll say web server SSL and just import the certificate to our certificate store. Once that is done, we'll go into our website. We'll go into bindings. And we will edit this HTTPS port and choose the new web server SSL certificate. We'll say OK and that is done. Once that is done, now if we reload this, it doesn't see that error anymore. Neither for CA02, neither for CA02.ncon.com. This is totally trusted by the browser because it can see that in the sub subject alternative name, extensions, it should be in extensions, right? Yep, there we go. So here is our DNS for CA02. Since CA02 is trusted, it is on the certificate, it can make sure that yes, I can trust the certificate for this website and there we go. So that should be all from my side. If you have any questions, do let me know and I will make sure that I will answer all of your questions. Thank you all and I will see you on the next video.